Hey, uh, Sean, um, there was obviously some some news inside your locker room that's you know kind of jolting the room a little bit with change of quarterback. As a guy who's played with Andy for a long time and, and been here for a long time, how are you digesting this news today? Um, kind of still di digesting it or whatever, but I just feel confident in the moves that they're making. I'm um, still confident in Zach, so we're just going to ride with Finley and kind of see what we can do the second half of the season and hope it's better than the first half. How difficult is it to see a teammate like Andy have to kind of take a back seat now? I mean, it's very difficult because of all the good things that Andy's done over the last nine years has been a starter. So uh, can't be unsensitive to that. But at the same point in time, uh, we still have a job to do. And um, we got to fully support Ryan and um, just, just handle it as business-wise, business business-sense, and go about it the right way at the end of the day. Do you hope this can kickstart the team a little bit, get a little jolt? Um, yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to, like the reset, you know. Um, we got this week to, to get better and focus on us. Next week to come out and focus on uh, Baltimore and try to get our first win and keep it rolling. You mentioned the word business. How, how tough is it in this room <coughs> to stay focused when you're 0-8? There's business decisions being made, whether it be Andy not being a starter anymore, trade rumors with guys on your side of the ball with AJ. How tough is it to stay focused when you have all that going on and we're less than two hours from the deadline now? Um, it's very challenging um, because at the end of the day, it is a business. You know, at the end of the day, it's a business and we're all family in here and we all care about each other. But at the end of the day, you can't uh, downplay the business side of it. Um, you hear it, you see it. Um, it probably does affect you, but um, you still got to go about it as it being a business. You know, I mean, you're here to do a job and your, base, your job is based off performance. Um, it's based off wins and losses. For me, it's based off um, how do I tackle, how do I cover, um, how do I turn the ball over. So that's what it is. Is it a, a bit of a wake-up call to the room, Sean, that, that anybody and everybody's being evaluated? Um, I don't know if it's a wake-up call, but you should never be comfortable in this um, business that we're in for anyone.